bag I got a chopper, scoop in a mag Ain't chasing that bitch, only chasing them stacks I was in shit and I ain't going back I put in my fiends, my boys go attack I keep a stick, how can I ever lie? Only put your bitch and I blow the bag I'm getting money, we getting that Run up with him, with that guy can get back I got a chopper, scoop in a mag Ain't chasing that bitch, only chasing them stacks I was in shit and I ain't going back Stick how can I ever lie? Link with your bitch and I'll blow the bag. I'm getting money when you Today we gonna be reacting to the 10 most dangerous animals in the world. Like and subscribe if you new. Comment down below what else y'all wanna see me react to. Link to their original video is gonna be in the description if you wanna check it out yourself. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you wanna be notified when I post. And let's get into the video. Why is the world such a dangerous place? We often think that we humans have tamed this planet that we call home. But the fact is, we're not really good at that actually. Danger awaits us in every turn and they come in various forms, most especially animals. Seriously, we can't tame this planet. Sometimes if we stretch too much, then we're out of commission for a day. Either way, today we're going to take a look at some animals that you should really stay away from. Especially number one. And that one is known for its extraordinarily bad temper. Here are 10 of the most dangerous animals. Number 10. The Black-Footed Cat. The deadliest cat on Earth isn't a shaggy mane lion, a sleek leopard, a stealthy tiger, or even Garfield the Cat. It's a wee cat that you've probably never heard of. Africa's smallest feline, the black-footed cat. Native to the grasslands of southern Africa, the black-footed cat has an endearingly round face and a light brown black-spotted body that is small like even compared to domestic cats. The wild feline measures only 14 to 20 inches long and stands about 8 inches tall and weighs about 2 to 6 pounds. Admittedly, those measurements don't sound very impressive when compared to the sizable big cats that are among the world's most fearsome predators. But despite its small size, the black-footed cat hunts and brings down more prey in a single night than a leopard does in over six months. One small black-footed cat can consume 3,000 rodents each year. They have also been known to eat dead springbok lambs, although they don't actually kill them. Larger males can take adult cape hair, which weigh approximately the same as the cat. They've also been observed eating eggs, crushing them gently between the jaws, and then licking the contents clean. Number 9. Pitbulls. Pitbulls are a very popular breed of strong dogs, although it is negative popularity. This is the resulting breed when you combine the energy and agility of terriers and the body build and strength of a bulldog. Pitbulls always get a bad rep. That's mainly because of their popularity of being used in dog fights. However, I and Pitbull Advocates explain that they are a very misunderstood breed. I mean seriously, look at all the pictures of them in pajamas online, they're just so cute. Their personality is naturally mild-mannered, loyal and caring, making them an ideal family dog. They are highly intelligent as well and can be trained to do all sorts of things. The problem is, couple intelligence and trainability with its unmatched agility and mind-blowing strength, Pitbulls can be very dangerous if trained in the wrong way. Like I mentioned earlier, they are the quintessential fighting dog breed. They often clash with other fighting dogs like the Roddy and the Canary Massive in the Dig Ring. They even fight against the same breed. And in dog fights, when a pit bull is involved, it almost always ends with a fatality. Number 8. The Saltwater Croc. The inclusion of the saltwater crocodile in this list shouldn't come as a surprise to you, because they are truly one of the more dangerous animal species that populate the Earth. These animals, although primarily ambush predators, have been known at times to pursue their would-be prey aggressively. But did you know that this aggressiveness starts at a very young age? Studies have shown that baby saltwater crocs have the same level of aggressiveness as adults who spend their entire lives in the wild. These hatchlings were observed showing violent behavior, some of which was unintentional. Kind of like when other hatchlings disturb their sleep or invade their personal space. However, other violent and aggressive behaviors were also observed, and this time these babies do it intentionally. These things are quite literally born to hate the world. They're kind of like the reptile embodiment of the Doom guy from Doom. Other behaviors observed was when swimming in open water, the hatchlings were observed to bite and drag each other underwater, as if trying to drown one another. 
These babies are preparing themselves for the future, learning at an early age how their mother behaves, by grabbing prey and pulling them underwater until they drown. Huh, kinda reminds me of me and my brother when we were younger. Those were dark days. Number 7. The Inland Taipan. The Inland Taipan possesses the most toxic venom of any land snake in the world. Despite that, there has never been a single recorded human fatality from a bite of this snake. The snake is dark tan in color, ranging from a rich dark hue to a brownish light green, depending on the season. Its backsides and tail may be different shades of brown and gray, with many scales having a wide blackish edge. It lives in the far west and southwest of Queensland, extending through the far west of New South Wales into the northeast corner of South Australia and into the southeast of the Northern Territory. Oh man, that's a lot of directions right there. Although extremely venomous and capable strikers, inland taipans are usually quite shy and reclusive snakes and prefer to escape from trouble. However, they will defend themselves and strike if provoked, mishandled, or prevented from escaping. This is because they live in such remote locations, inland taipans seldom come in contact with people. How venomous are these snakes, though? Well, it's been reported that a drop of it can kill up to 100 adult men, and it works in as little as 45 minutes. Number 6. The Pufferfish. Pufferfish get their name from their ability to inflate to a much larger size when threatened by predators, but they are more widely known for being one of the most dangerous fish in the entire world. Not because they're vicious predators, oh no, but for the deadly toxin that laces almost every part of its delicious little body. The liver, ovaries, eyes, and skin of most species of pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, a potent neurotoxin. A predator that manages a snag of puffer before it inflates won't feel lucky for long. Almost all pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, and it makes them foul-tasting and often lethal to fish. To humans, tetrodotoxin is deadly, up to 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. To dolphins, they use pufferfish to actually get high. There's something you know now. There is enough toxin in one pufferfish to kill 30 adult humans, and there is no known antidote. Amazingly, the meat of some pufferfish is considered a delicacy. Called fugu in Japan, it is extremely expensive and only prepared by trained and licensed chefs who know that one bad cut means almost certain death for a customer. In fact, many such deaths occur annually and was actually showcased on The Simpsons. Number 5. The Indian Red Scorpion The Indian Red Scorpion is considered to be the most lethal scorpion in the world. It's really not that big, only ranging from 2 to 3.5 inches in length. And yet, despite this, it packs quite a punch. Also, despite its name, it's not really that red. It ranges in color from bright reddish-orange to dull brown, and the species has distinctive dark gray ridges and granulation. Their pincers are relatively smaller compared to other scorpions, but they have really thick tails and a large stinger. Despite their potent venom, Indian red scorpions are kept as pets. They're also kept in bread in captivity for medical research. Scorpion toxins include potassium channel blocking peptides, which may have used as aminosuppressants for autoimmune disorders such as multiple sclerosis and rheumatoid arthritis. Some toxins may have application in dermatology, cancer treatment, and as anti-malarial drugs. They're very common in India and Nepal, where stings from this species is unfortunately not uncommon. While the scorpions aren't aggressive, they will sting when stepped on or otherwise threatened. The good news is that their stings are rarely fatal to adults, and yet children are more at risk. Number 4. The Poison Dart Frog The Poison Dart Frog, with its various colors and patterns, is one of the most stunning-looking animals in the world, and one we've talked about quite a lot and I feel like I don't really need to explain it at this point. But I'm gonna do it anyway. The fact of the matter is, they have poison that is enough to give the most poisonous creatures a run for their money. Just a tiny problem. amount of this poison is extremely fatal to humans. In fact, one 5 centimeter long frog packs enough toxins to incapacitate up to 10 humans permanently. The thing is, they don't look at all that dangerous. They're small compared to other frogs, and are even brightly colored ranging from yellows, greens, red, and oranges. Among them all, though, it's the goal that you really need to look out for. They don't produce the poison themselves, but rather from feeding on a particularly poisonous insect almost exclusively. That's the reason why poison darts born and bred in captivity are very safe to handle. For the gold dart frog, skin contact alone can introduce the venom into your system, so touching them with unprotected hands is really not a good idea. Ironically enough, scientists are also using the same toxin in some medical applications, so they aren't all that bad. 
Number 3. The Tasmanian Devil. This fierce creature is found only in the Australian island state of Tasmania and in the popular show Looney Tunes. They got the name Devil from their nature of being aggressive so quickly, so aggressive in fact that they often find themselves in a scuffle with one another. Yes, Tasmanian devils fight a lot, yet despite their aggressive reputation, they don't attack immediately. They will often use a few clever tricks first before resorting to full-out combat. When a dispute finds two devils face to face, their skin will flush red, turning the ears crimson, and they will gape their impressive jaws at each other, screaming and growling the whole time. If the situation is stressful enough, the devil will release a musky odor that would clear most rooms. Finally, they will emit a staccato sneeze that is sometimes so violent they lose their footing. If all else fails, it's time to rumble, and most devils have the scars to prove it. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's pick is definitely an arachnophobe's worst nightmare, a ginormous spider. Does this kind of spider really grow to such proportions? Is it even real? If it is real, it's probably from Australia. More importantly though, is it dangerous? Well, judging by that size, yes. Yes, it's probably pretty dangerous. Either way, find out next with number two. The giant Hawaiian cane spider. Back in 2015, this photo surfaced on the internet and sent chills down the spines of millions worldwide. It shows a giant spider clinging to the side of a house. It was reported to be the dreaded giant Hawaiian cane spider, a spider so large that it hunts and feeds on cats and dogs and requires several bullets to kill. Man, let me tell ya, if that spider was real, ooh, that'd be something to watch out for. Fortunately, no such spider exists or has ever existed, only in cinema with like eight-legged freaks. One arachnid that you really do need to watch out for is the Brazilian wandering spider. They're also called armed spiders or banana spiders and belong to the genus Photonutria, which means murderous in Greek. And it's no wonder why, it's one of the most venomous spiders on Earth. Its bite can be deadly to humans, especially children. It's so venomous that even the Guinness Book of World Records recognizes it as the world's most venomous spider. Although extremely venomous, they are quite small, only growing to about 2 inches in length. They give their name from the fact that these spiders never build nests, but rather is constantly on the move, at the same time looking for its next victim. They spend most of their day hiding under logs or in crevices, and come out to hunt at night. They eat insects, other spiders, and sometimes small amphibians, reptiles, and mice. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Cassowary. The only bird that made it to this list, but quite fittingly, is it is considered to be the most dangerous bird in the world. Considering the size, cassowaries are second only to ostriches. But cassowary attacks are more deadly than ostriches. It provoked they become extremely aggressive and attack viciously, using their powerful clawed legs as their primary weapons. With a single blow using these claws, they could break human bones. They charge and kick and sometimes jump on top of their victims. Unlike emus, and yes, I'm quite surprised to learn that emus also attack people, which reportedly can only kick backwards, cassowaries can also kick forwards and downwards. Yes, they may also peck and headbutt you. Needless to say, these attacks can cause a variety of injuries, the most common of which include puncture wounds, lacerations, and bone fractures. When being attacked by a cassowary, you should never, ever turn your back to it or crouch down in a prone position, as this is when the most serious injuries can happen. You have to stand your ground and look as menacing as you possibly can, and hope that it's enough to intimidate the charging bird. Kind of like a big goose, but yet slightly more threatening. Have you ever encountered any of these dangerous animals? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? That was the video, bro. Comment down below what else y'all want to see me react to. The link's going to be in the description if you want to check the original video out. Comment down below which one y'all think is the most dangerous out of all 10. Like and subscribe if you new. If y'all niggas got a dream, go chase it, bro. Don't let nobody tell y'all y'all can't. And I'm out.